And Kelly, it's important to note the arena itself is supposed to be one of the most high tech arenas, unique among arenas around the country and around the world. Now, today we had a chance to talk with the co owner of the Sacramento Kings, Mark Mastroff, who is not only optimistic, he was headlining a local tech conference where we met some of Sacramento's startups. We love sushi, so we're going to go crew. On his mobile phone, entrepreneur Sonny Mayuba shows us his newest invention, Requested, an app that lets you name your own price at restaurants. Let's say we want 15% off. It helps you get a deal during off peak hours and pay for everything through your phone. Mayuba was among a few hundred tech entrepreneurs at the Hyatt Regency today. They chose to start their businesses here, not in San Francisco or San Jose. Sacramento is a wonderful environment to grow your tech company as long as you are dedicated and put in the time. The optimism among startups seems to contradict what Sacramento has experienced recently with bigger companies losing Tesla to Reno. Reno, in fact, is where Apple has invested $400 million in a data center. Other companies like eBay have located there, too. I think it's always going to be interesting when we're competing with other states, like in the terms of Tesla. And somewhere you have to draw the line between giving everything you have to someone to locate her versus saying what's best for us. In Nevada, these companies don't have to pay corporate taxes. At today's conference, which was put on by the Sacramento Regional Technology Alliance, Mark Mastrov, co owner of the Sacramento Kings, said there are many other reasons tech companies would want to be here. Mastrov, who founded 24 hour fitness athletic clubs, is also heavily invested in tech. Nevada has some benefits with uh, low or no state taxes, so a lot of people are excited about that. But ultimately, this is going to be a great place to live. The weather's fantastic here, the people, the culture, the food. And for people who are just starting businesses, Mark Mastrov also points out the lower cost of living in Sacramento compared at least to the Bay Area. Now, the Regional Technology Alliance also says that 126 new tech companies have started here in the Sacramento area over the last five years. Live here in downtown Sacramento, I'm Sharkin Nishamp, KCRA 3 News. So, Cheryl, I mean, those small companies like the ones who are developing mobile apps, have they created many jobs here? Kelly, the company we featured there, requested, says it has seven people on staff, including its four founders. So not large by any stretch of the imagination, but like many startups, they are growing and they are growing fast. In fact, they're about to expand their service to the Bay Area and to Los Angeles. And so the hope, of course, is that companies like that will start here and then grow big. That certainly takes some time. I'm glad they're starting here. Cheryl, thanks.